progress. But we didn't have him on the court today. He just you know, stayed off it. What enables him to, to come back from an injury the way that he does? Well, I think some of it's pain management, obviously. Uh, some people have a higher threshold than others. And, you know, when you get that first uh, sprain when you're in your teens, it's pretty severe, but later on you adjust to it and understand it a little bit. Might he be better off just taking a, a game off? Might be. How, how tough of a sell would that be for you to make the game? Well, we'll just see. We'll see how it is tomorrow. And we'll go from there. Better today, too? Yeah, he says it's got strength. He's got good strength in his uh, ankle. It's still swollen quite a bit, but he has a strength in it that uh, he feels he can play. When he pulled himself out of games last year to sit, did that uh -huh. kind of change your perspective on trusting him to, to do that for the best thing for himself? That sense? Well, it finally caught up to him last year. All the multiple injuries he had it caught up with him, and you know, I think he understood that better playoffs than you know the last you know ten games or whatever in the season. You've had some success against the Timberwolves. Nice. But thank you. Irish. Yeah, that's <laughs> 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 had some success against the Timberwolves, um, in particular Kevin Love. Is that just the, the team recognizing that he's kind of the cog that gets them going, or how can you explain that? So is familiarity. You know, Lamar played against him all summer, and I'm sure they had many scrimmages against each other. So, you know, he's got a little bit of a feel for him um, as a player. But, you know, some of it's been circumstantial so it's just you know he had a really big game against us I think the first game he played against us it was a big game had a lot had a lot to do with it yeah well we have a push going on now and and last year we finished in a hurry and this year we kind of have a leisurely pace that we're going through. We're not, you know, playing an extreme amount of games in a short period of time. And last year we had a, quite a few games towards the end. So, you know, hopefully we can, you know, go into the playoffs with some energy and some live legs. And, you know, particularly with his injury that he'll be able to come back and be 100%. There's, there's always residual things that come off of this that, you know, manifest themselves sometimes later on. Um, so we, we just want to be careful with it. There's one, in, one injury. I mean, a guy might try to protect one injury and then it's another. Well, that and the injury itself has other aspects to it, you know, than just the initial sprain. There could be some things that develop in the Achilles tendon, and, you know, the whole area becomes, you know, a traumatized area a little bit. So it's not just the strength sometimes. It's the swelling and the other things that go into it. So. Just have to be careful with it. Would you see a need to scale back other players' minutes as well? During this yeah, I'd like to do shorten some of uh, you know Derek's minutes. He's played you know probably more minutes than he's on the schedule. Played more minutes than he has the last two years. So I kind of like to do that. We'll see how that goes.